photo of people out there in TV land. This is my Xbox having a seizure. Now I've tried a few different things to actually fix the Xbox. Some of which worked for a short time. Now with this problem, I found out there was something a little uh, weird about the thing I tried to fix. Now, as you can see, pretty much everything is displayed terribly. Um, what I tried to fix at first was uh, taking everything apart, overheating the graphics chip, and then applying pressure to it, which I found out sometimes did not work. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out the uh, CD drive, because everything's already half apart, and I'm going to press out, press down on another chip that's probably really hot by now. So. Out again. This thing is such a pain to get out. So. Okay. So that looks mostly out. And going to let you see just what my screen does when I apply pressure to a certain chip. See, now it's displaying pretty good. I'm going to show you exactly what chip I had to apply pressure to inside this system here. Might be a little too dark to see down there. Yeah, it's a little too dark. Let me get some illumination in there. That chip right there that says Xbox 360 on it, that is right next to the uh, SATA cable for the CD drive. All I had to do was apply a little bit of pressure to the center of it, and <clears throat> if you try this yourself, you'll notice that the chip gets pretty hot. But, uh, I believe that's what's causing some of the graphics issue. Yeah, the center of it does get pretty hot. So... If your Xbox ever experiences the E74 error, or if it, uh, as you'll see on the front, if it has a uh, red light blinking right here, just one, not three, that's either because of the GPU getting loose, or it's because of that little chip right there overheating. But the display seems to be pretty good now after applying a little bit of pressure and soaking up some of that heat with my finger. So if you do experience those problems, give that a try. Don't want to apply too much pressure to it though, otherwise you're going to end up completely destroying that chip. You'll end up causing some fractures in the circuit, and you'll be having a bricked Xbox. So, just a quick thing I wanted to upload. That's it.